Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you go about clearing data on PDF forms. I want to talk about clearing an entire form, uh, all the data, clearing arrays, clearing groups of fields, clearing check boxes and radio buttons, clearing button faces, all the different ways that you have to reset a form and the different kinds of actions and scripts that you can create to accomplish those tasks. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll notice at the very top I have a button here that says Reset Form. Notice that when I click on this button, all of these fields get reset. This is a button field and it's not reset, and I'll get to that momentarily. Once I clear any fields, I can click on this button to repopulate the fields so I can continue practicing. And let's take a look at what goes on with this button over here. I'll double click and you'll notice that this is an action that says reset form. And that's found in the drop down menu here. You've got reset a form. By default, whenever you choose that, it's going to check all the boxes in the dialog box. You can see all of these boxes. These are all the fields on the page with the exception of this button field. Okay, so that will easily clear an entire form and you don't have to worry about scripting, writing any code or anything like that. Now the next field does exactly the same only this is a JavaScript. I click on this and it will clear the form. I'll repopulate again Let's take a look at what goes on with this field action. It's a JavaScript, and it's a single line of code. This reset form in parentheses and a semicolon. That's all you have to do to write a JavaScript. Now, why would you write a JavaScript? The reason is, suppose you have a conditional statement. You say, if some field is equal to something, then I want to clear the form. Otherwise, I don't want to do it. You have to include the JavaScript to clear the form in order to have that action executed. So that's why you would write a JavaScript. And in some cases, you'll need to do that as opposed to use using action. The next item is reset an array. Now an array is just a group of fields. And I have an array up here. And I'll define it as an array. I click on this and it clears these fields. And I'll repopulate. Now that's one way to clear a group of fields. We have several ways that we can go about it, but let's take a look at what goes on here. You can see over in the actions, I've got run a JavaScript. And this is what I do to set up the array and to reset the fields in that array. You can copy and paste this, and the only thing you have to be worry about is the field I'm getting is client, okay? And over here, you can see that the parent name for each one of these fields is client. That's all I need is the parent name. So if you have a group of fields and you want to use this script, all you have to do is come in here and take client and replace this with the name of the fields that you have and be sure to name those with parent-child names. So let's take a look at the next one. The next one is to reset a single field. I have a field over here where it says city. I want to reset just this field. I click on reset a field and you can see that it's clear. Okay, let's see what happens with that. Now I can go to reset a form and I can choose just that field name and use that action. And I can also do it with a JavaScript. So here's the JavaScript that will clear that single individual field. I say this reset form and then I've got a parentheses and a bracket and then within quotes the name of the field. And because it's an individual field, I'm not using just the parent name here. I'm using the entire field name, and it's going to clear just that field. Once again, you can copy and paste this JavaScript directly into your form, and the only thing you have to do is to change this entire field name. The next button clears a button icon. Okay, it's clear image. So if this is a button with a button face or a button icon or it's an image field, 
They're both the same image fields and button icons. This will clear this field. Now before I actually click that button, I want you to take a look at my entire form here. I've got this field up here that's called blank. And blank is not showing any kind of a button face. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this field and I'm going to take its value, which is blank, and I'm going to apply it to this field. And the way we do that is with this script. And this is just one long line of code. I'm actually getting this field name, which is button.btn.icon. That's right here. And then the rest of the code is I'm getting this field up here. And I'm matching the value of this to this. And that's what's taking place in this script. You can copy this entire script. The only thing you have to do is change the name of the button face you have and you can just copy and paste blank and leave the blank as is. And let's see, let's go down to resetting multiple fields. Now I created an array earlier. This will also create multiple fields and this is also based on submit a form action. So if I click on this, you see it clears these fields. Okay, let's see what goes on here. This is reset a form no JavaScript here, and all I've done is selected the fields in that group. Real easy to clear a group by using that reset a form action. Now I can also use a JavaScript. And once again, I clear all the fields in a, in a single group, and this script looks like this. Okay. I'm going to this reset form and then I say client, which is the parent name of these fields. It's quite that simple. And the reason you would do that, once again, is let's say you have a conditional statement and if an action is true, you want to clear the group and if it's not, you just leave it alone. And so if you wrote a script to include that conditional statement, then you would need a JavaScript to do the clearing of the fields. Let's take a look at the next item over here. This says reset spawned fields. These fields, with the exception of this one down here, which says accounting contact, are all fields that would be named if you spawned a page from a template. So let me show you it works. It clears just these fields, this leaves this one intact. What I'm going to do is repopulate, and we're going to take a look at the script here. Now, first of all, this field or this group of fields are all beginning with P and the page number is zero. And in spawned pages, when you have fields and you rename those fields, those fields will all begin with P and the number of the page that those fields reside on. So in this JavaScript, what I'm doing is I'm calling out P, and I have I over here is this page number, so this page number is zero, so this is going to be P0, P plus I is P0, and then in the quote marks here, I have template.contact. Now, I have template, that's the name of the template that was used to spawn the page, and then I have contact. The very last item in each one of these makes those fields unique. And this is like a parent name, contact. So I'm clearing all the ones that say contact. You'll notice down at this accounting contact, you'll notice that it is accounting as the parent name and contact is the child. So this field is not cleared. And that's basically how you would clear fields individually on pages that have been spawned. You wouldn't want to use reset a form over here because that would clear all the data on all the pages in your document. So you want to be sure to just go to that one page and clear the data if you need to start over. Let's go to preview again. This one is clear checkboxes. Here's a checkbox. I click on it and the checkbox is uh, disabled. So the way we do that, once again, I could use reset a form and choose just this field and it would clear it. But this once again is a JavaScript in the event that I have some kind of a conditional statement where I need to have the script included within it. 
go to edit over here and it says over here that I'm getting the field and check the uh, my variable is check off which is that field and I'm saying that its value is false you can also use the word off so on is true or on and off is off or false and that's how you clear check boxes and you do exactly the same thing with radio buttons as well here's radio buttons I go over here and I can clear this field you can see and we'll take a look at the JavaScript for this field and you can see that I have exactly the same script here I'm just getting a different field name and this one is also false now you'll notice that over here on the bottom right I have different radio buttons over here and I want to have one of these enabled however if the user the form filler add something to the other field I don't want other and one of these radio buttons both to be on this is an either or situation it's either going to be one of these four items or it's going to be another so notice that when I click here it clears this field and the way that's handled is with a script over here you can see that well, let me go back because I want to point this out. It, the action is on focus. On focus means when I click in the field. If I want to just go mouse enter, I would choose from this drop down menu here, I would choose mouse enter. And then just as the mouse comes over it, it would clear this field. When you tab into it or click in the field, that's on focus. And then the script is identical to the script that we had down here for clearing radio buttons. Once again, I just get the field name and I click on false. And you'll notice that the field name is ph.cc and that's the name for each one of the fields. The fields all have the same name, but they have different export values. So you see that's Aetna, that's Allianz, and so on and so forth. So those fields are all the same name, and that's what makes them either-or types of actions. Now, if you use this form, if you keep this on your computer and refer to it when you need to create scripts or actions that clear an entire form, a group of fields, fields that have been spawned on pages, buttons, anything that you need to clear in terms of the field data, then just keep this handy. Then every time you create an action here and you clear data, just go repopulate and you'll be able to get that data back. If you just play around with this and you don't save it, then it'll just default with all this field data intact. Down at the bottom here, I have a link that will link directly to my YouTube channel. So if you want to know more about spawned pages, things of that sort, button fields, what have you, then you can take a look at my channel and explore some other videos. So that's it for clearing data on PDF forms and clearing data in groups of fields, on single fields, on radio buttons and checkboxes, and on image fields. So once again, this is Ted Padova wishing you all the very best in your acrobat activity, and I hope to see you next time.